BBC News. Rescue teams are working through a second night to search for survivors of Monday's earthquakes in Turkey and Syria, which have killed more than 7,000 people. The UN has warned that the flow of vital aid to Syria is being disrupted because of damaged roads. The Pentagon says China rejected an American request for a secure call between the two countries after a US warplane shot down a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon on Saturday. Beijing insists it was intended for civilian use and entered US airspace accidentally. Germany, Denmark and the Netherlands have promised to send at least 100 older German-made tanks to Ukraine. The Leopard 1 tanks are in addition to the Leopard 2s, which Berlin approved last month. The Russian foreign minister has outlined Moscow's ambition to provide military backing for governments across West Africa in the battle against jihadists. Sergei Lavrov spoke during a visit to Mali. New research has found that at least 15 million people are at risk of flooding caused by the climate-induced melting of mountain glaciers. They're mostly in India, Pakistan, China and Peru. A court in Rwanda has fined a man $900 after he pleaded guilty to involuntary manslaughter over the death of a journalist critical of the government. John Williams and Twali was killed last month. More than 1,000 jobs are being cut by the video conference app Zoom. The company said roughly 15% of the workforce will be lost. A Saudi team has caused an upset in the Men's Football Club World Cup by beating the South American champions Flamengo. Al-Hilal scored two penalties in a 3-2 victory in the semi-final. BBC News.